What's up guys, I'm Damon Zell, and I know I'm a day light in this, but we are doing the official uh, review and reaction to Bumber, the next character in Thorne's company. So, let's talk about it. Alright, so we got the official kit of Bumber. Now, I specifically stayed away from all the other content creators' videos on this. I did not look at the kit. I did not read uh, my Discord forms. I, I didn't look at anything because I want to be uh, surprised. The only thing I did see is that a couple people were saying a f uh, unofficial legendary. So we're going to look at his kit and see exactly what everyone's talking about. Okay, so he is a tank of the group. Obviously, he's a dwarf, and he's in Thorin's company. He works best with the dwarves from Thorin's company, plus the Hobbit. Uh, my favorite character, Bilbo Baggins, uh, from the books. Um, so, it says here, Despite his clumsy nature and questionable sleeping habits, Bumber is a hardy dwarf who excels at supporting his companions and frustrating his enemies. So, let's go ahead and look at this kid itself. Uh... Let's see, his weapon type is a two-handed axe for the glyphs. So let's get right into the kit itself. Basic is heavy swing. This is like a hit. That's some kind of debuff going on there. And why is... I, I, I don't understand. This, oh, graphics always look better in these animations on the website than it does actually look in my game. I, I wish my game looked this crisp. Uh, I don't know what it is. Maybe i got to play with some settings. Uh, on my phone or my blue stacks. If you guys have a, a setting and blue stacks to make it look this good, let me know so I can set mine up. All right. It is I unlock you're gonna attack the target enemy for 90% damage. Nothing really big there. No no uh frills or anything like that. So fully upgraded. We are attacking the target enemy for 200 percent damage and inflict weak minded for two turns. That's great. Uh weak minded uh Morja. Uh, does the same thing in Isengard. It's always great, so we can land a bunch of Banes on a character. Not bad for a basic. I would have liked to have seen Weak-Minded um, you know, at the unlock, but of course, you are always want to upgrade these guys minimum. Threes across the board. Fours, if you're going to be planning on uh, going further with them for raiding. So let's look at the next one. Dwarven Rhythms. Alright, what a little boogie here. Okay. I like the fact that he's sweeping after the each of his moves. All right, so we're affecting a group, so it's an AOE of some sort. All right, so the ability cost is five. You're going to start the battle with five, so you can do this right on turn one. At unlock, inflict disrupted for one turn on the enemy target and one random enemy. Grant haste for one turn to one of random Thorn's company squad member and an additional ally. Okay, so we are... Putting Disrupted on 2 and granting Haste uh, for 2. Okay. Um, at max upgrade, inflict Disrupted for 1 turn on all enemies. Nice. Grant Haste for 2 turns to all of Thorin's company and to additional random allies. Okay, now, now I can see why the hype is. That move alone right there is massive. Uh, let's go with a special ability 2. The Blatant Blunder. A uh, Brilliant Blunder, sorry. <laughs> Gems everywhere. Nice, nice. I like that. I like that. All right. So, oh, okay. You got to build up to this. So the stamina cost is five on this. The you're going to start the battle with one. So it's going to take you five turns to be able to do this. But you're going to attack all enemies for 110 percent damage at max upgrade. Attack all enemies for 230 damage. Inflict slow for two turns on all enemies. That is huge. Huge. So I'm already thinking right now we're probably going to want to put a Limbus set on him just to build that stamina. Um, you know, to kind of get this off a little bit sooner. Alright, the passive, well rested. Okay, at description. At unlock on spawn. Gain two t stacks of sweep. Oh, okay, so we not have, okay. So you're going to get two stacks of sweep on turn. Convert each stack of sweep on stealth into one stamina. Distribute to random, uh, distributed to random allies on tur turn and gain two stacks of sweep. So every turn you're going to get two sweeps. Uh, this will not occur if Bombar is stunned. Okay. Uh, at max upgrade, we're going to get three sweeps per turn. 
You're going to convert each sweep on self into two stamina. All right, so that's wow. Wow. Turn to random alleys on turn end, gain three stacks of sweep. Obviously, we're going to get every turn. Not stunned. And you're getting. Yeah. Okay, I could definitely see. Why everyone's calling him the unofficial legendary. That is massive. Let's see here. Sleep. All right. All right, so it's a double-edged sword. Cannot counterattack, evade, or block. When this character is granted any assistance or counterattack stacks, convert each stack to 25% turn meter. And with Thorn, he's going to keep throwing out those assistances. Uh, when attacked, remove one stack of sleep. All stacks will be removed. The bombard is afflicted with a stun. Okay. So that's going to be that's very interesting. So you're building stacks, but you're also losing stacks when you're being hit. But you're also a tank. And there, if I remember correctly, there was no provoke on this, right? He's, he's another in the long line of, I'm a tank, but I don't provoke. Right? Yeah. So, no provokes, but he's listed as a tank, so he's like, okay. So he's like Rumio, he's like a, a Black Beast in that regard. But I'm liking this mechanic right here. So, just on the chance that you're going to be gaining all this stamina each turn, right? If you're gaining the stamina... Pump, pumping it out to everyone. You're hasting everyone. You're slowing the teams. Yeah, I would say if you have the money, go all in on this marquee. Um, I will probably ra you know, hit in the chest, at least getting him up to a five star. Even though I'm not going to get Thorn. I'm not getting Thorn this pass. I'll be getting Thorn on a, another pass on probably when he comes back around in March, April. Um, but he would be an excellent plug and play character on a dwarf team, I believe. I think that would be, yeah, he would be really, really good because the the haste is for all. Well, yeah, so it's only in Thorn's company. So you could probably, if you run Thorn's company, well, no, right? Because you could run him with, if you get Bilbo, right? Let's see, other, other combinations you can use. You could use him, right? Yeah. Okay, so if you don't have Gandalf, right? Legolas, Gimli. Right, you're gonna get the two attacks there. You're gonna get the doubles. You got your tank. You got a damage dealer, uh, damage dealer um, with Legolas. You throw in Killing Philly, who's part of Thorn's company. You got your heals now. You got uh, utility and damage. And you throw, uh, you throw in him. Gimli's gonna be taking. The Gimli's a tank anyway, so he's gonna be taking uh, the brunt of the attacks with his provoke. Uh, he's gonna get the retaliates in. But this way, he's granting stamina. Uh, to everyone still. Philly. Yeah, this is going to be... I think I just found a new raid team. Um, yeah. <laughs> if you're not going for Thorn, I've, I'm thinking, yeah, I got to see what Bilbo's kid's going to be. But right now, I'm just thinking of just him with Philly and Killy, Gimli and Legolas. And right there, I think that would be a sick uh, raid team. I could be... I got to do some, some playing around with it. But yeah. Um, so let's see when this is coming around. Uh, let's see here. Oh, we're gonna do. We're gonna skip all of that here. Uh, okay, so December fifteenth. So that's gonna be next uh, Friday. It's uh, or this this Friday coming up actually. This Friday coming up starts at eight a.m. It's gonna run to the twenty second. So just before a few days before Christmas, uh, it's gonna end at eight a.m. And it's gonna be running like every single one, right? You're gonna get an unlock the free uh, three shard. Uh, sorry, three star. Bomber, if you want that fourth star, go ahead and spend the twenty dollars. You get that free uh, instant upgrade to four stars, plus all the gear you uh, to bring him up to. I think it's gear tier four, and uh, yeah, then you would have to roll the chest because you're gonna need a five star to complete that tier six, and it's gonna cost you somewhere between, depending on how lucky you are, six to nine thousand gems to get that fifth star on him. But you know, maybe a Christmas present to myself. I want to see, but I think, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna do it. So I guess, uh, I guess we'll see how hard that marquee is gonna be in the tier six. Uh, I'll make a video on it. 
But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I think he's a hell of a character. You guys tell me in the comments below what you think about this kit, what you think about this character. And what do you think about my idea for that unique raid team right there? If you're not go if you're not going to get Thor in this pass, which, let's face it, most of us are not going to do it, I think that would make a really good team. Philly, Killy, Bumbar, Legolas, and Gimli. You guys let me know down in the comments below. And until I talk to you guys again, have a great week. Have a great weekend. Adventure safe. And good luck to you and your fellowship.